Today on History Eats, we take a look at a dish that arose from the mixing of food cultures in the plains of South Texas. While Tex-Mex cooking is incredibly popular today in everything from fancy restaurants to fast food joints, you can really say it was popularized in San Antonio with a single dish. Join us as we cook a recipe for what true Texans sometimes call a bowl of red. Today, we cook up some Texas-style chili con carne. My name is Heath Hammer, and I love food, and I love history. No one has ever accused me of being a cook, but I don't mind trying. Come into the kitchen with me, and let's see if we can cook up some history eats. Today, when we talk about Tex-Mex cuisine, a lot of derogatory words get thrown around. Dishes like chili, enchiladas, crispy tacos, queso, and nachos are inauthentic, food snobs will tell you. That's a myth. Tex-Mex has its origins in the cheap, easy, and quick-to-cook foods at the ranches and farms of northern Mexico and southern Texas. It is authentic to the region and historic context of the 19th century Rio Grande Valley, and as an added bonus, it's often covered in cheese. The king of Tex-Mex is chili con carne, basically a stew of chili peppers and beef. It's the official state dish of Texas, and according to a 1977 Texas law, to be real chili, the dish has to be made by a Texan. Don't even ask where the beans are in Texas chili. That's sacrilege. That's like using barbecue sauce in a Central Texas brisket. At the turn of the century, San Antonio was a bustling town linked by railroad to a growing nation. Street vendors started selling the familiar ranch food to passers-by from carts, because again, it was easy, cheap, and quick. Basically, the San Antonio Chili Queens were the first real purveyors of fast food. Move aside, hamburgers. Chili is the original fast food champion. Today, we're going to be making a recipe for chili from the mind of an early Texas chili con carne expert, Frank Tolbert. We could make this with chilies or with chili powder. For the sake of ease, we'll use the powder. In fact, it was the invention of chili powder, more than anything, that helped spread Tex-Mex cuisine to a wider audience in South Texas. Start by browning a pound or so of beef chunks in a skillet of vegetable oil. Notice that I said chunks, not ground beef. Transfer the cooked beef over to a heavy pot and coat in your chili powder. Bring the mix to a boil, adding enough beef stock or water to cover the meat, then simmer over low heat. After about an hour, you can add some chopped garlic, yellow onion, some cumin, oregano, paprika, salt, and two sprigs of cilantro. After another half hour, this Tex-Mex treat is ready to serve. There you have it, the original fast food and the grandfather dish of Tex-Mex cuisine, chili con carne, cooked up fresh, right here on History Eats. <laughs>